Welcome to Gaga Knits. My name's Anita and I live in South Wales in the UK and you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Anita Bulb and show notes can be found in the description box below. This episode is a little bit higgledy-piggledy because I filmed both in the morning and in the evening and I just wanted to upload a quick video while we were still in 2018. I want to wish you all a lovely new year and I shall see you in 2019. I thought I'd share with you my craft related Christmas gifts. I've been very lucky this year and had some lovely things. The first you can't see because it's actually my phone that I'm filming off. My children got together and my uh, son-in-law and clubbed together and got me a new phone which is much better for filming and has got a better memory and longer battery life. So I'm filming this little clip on, on that just to see how it goes. And my lovely cousin Nikki, who lives in Canada, sent me some yarn. All the yarn she sent me, I've never used before. So I could do with some help as some to ideas as to what to make with it. She bought or sent me four skeins of this yarn and this is blue sky fibers organic cotton and it's worsted weight and we don't really get worsted weight in Britain and she thought the colors would be nice for baby knits so I'm going to and it's nice and soft and I'm, so I'm going to make some things for baby Jack out of this but I don't know what yet I've had a little look on Ravelry uh, but I need to look a bit deeper into that. So she sent me those, which was lovely. I put the tissue on the floor and then put my yarn on the floor because Charlie comes in here sometimes and I don't want the, I don't want the yarn to touch the carpet. And she sent me a cake of this, which is Concentric by Hiku. 100% baby alpaca and it's not the threads are all separate it's not plied and you knit with it like that I've been looking into it and it says that's because the it's a gradient and the colors change more subtly like that so I have had a look on Ravelry there's a couple of shawl patterns there's one I think called the transient that lots and lots of people have done but I think it was because it was a knit along but I, do, I think I probably will do a shawl so I could show it off it's so lovely and soft that's my favorite colors I love green but I'm going to find a pattern for that I think this comes up as worsted the four strands although that does seem very fine I'm going to look into that a little bit more my favourite one, only because of what it was, what it's made out of, is this little one. Looked upside down there. And it's called Zulana Air. And I like it because it is made out of 40% cashmere, 40% brush tail possum down, and 20% mulberry silk. Well, I'd never, I didn't even know you could get possum in yarn. So I have no idea what I'm going to make with this. Obviously, it's a small, I think it's 25 grams, so I'm going to put it with something else. But any ideas would be gratefully accepted or gratefully received. I also, I asked my mum for this. I have got the... A stitch in time book by Susan Crawford and Jane Warner and there are some there are some patterns in here that I wouldn't knit like the knitted bathing costume but there are some cardigans and jumpers towards the 40s 50 section are really nice so I might have a go at those just to the, the different stitches that you have to use and things just to stretch my skills a little bit. 
So I'm going to make some things out of that and I was inspired to buy this by Tina from Simply and Stitches because she's made some beautiful things out of, of her, cop her copy of this. And also I have this. That's my gift of Martin and it's a crafter's lamp and it's got a magnifying a magnifying glass also because I am starting to do a little bit more cross stitch and I have found now I'm wearing glasses in the evenings it's quite hard to see the holes in the Ada fabric so I'm hoping that will help me and I haven't done any more of my cross stitch um, at home because of that. I do a little bit sometimes in work because we've got the artificial lights and they're really bright. I don't get a lot of time in my lunchtime in work so I'm looking forward to that and I also had off a friend the Sew by, by Kath Kitson and in here are some patchwork projects and I want to have a go at making some patchwork. I really wanted to make Jack a patchwork quilt before he was born but I wasn't sure if Jodie would like it because not everybody likes handmade things and um, I don't want to force my crafty endeavours on them. So I'm going to have a go at making some placemats. And also when I was watching Ellie from Craft House Magic's vlogs, she often was sat in her living room and she had a little mat on her coffee table that was patchwork. It was really pretty so I, I thought I might make one of those for my coffee table too. So start off small and Zoe from Pins and Needles podcast is doing a make along in 2019. I think it's called the New Fangled Make Along and you have to try in order 20 you have to try a new technique or something new to you. I think that could be a new pattern or maybe even new yarn so I thought I'm going to do patchwork so that will be a new thing. I've got my new yarn so that could be a new thing and also last year in the Christmas in the NEC in Birmingham they do a Christmas craft fair with you can buy um, anything Christmassy but also lots of craft things and I bought a kit to make a bag and I haven't made the bag so I'm going to definitely make that this year I don't like having too many projects and I've got a couple of projects over there that I need to finish and my son keeps on about his socks that I started and haven't finished so I need to get those done definitely this year so when he starts nagging again I can say oh well, I've made them here they are. So they're all my lovely crafty Christmas gifts and I need to get my craft room sorted ready for 2019 and crack on. I hope you had a lovely Christmas and New Year and that you also had some nice crafty gifts. Every night when we sit and watch telly, I've been working on my jumper, the sleeves of, I always forget what it's called, branches and buds pullover. And I'm using the Sock Wonder, the Addy Sock Wonder 3.25s, where the sticks do you call them sticks, the needles, when they're just these little ones? Where one is longer than the other. And I've been going round and round doing the sleeve. So I've done that much for the whole of Christmas. The... It is... I don't mind them. They are better than the... When I use the... Just the... I think the nine inch circlers to have a go at making socks. But it is still slower. Whether it's slower, me knitting round and round with this, or doing a magic loop where I've got to keep pulling out the cable, I'm not sure which is quicker. And I do find with some of the circular needles, the, the stitches do get caught on where the cable joins the stick. Um, so that slows you down as well. So I don't mind knitting round and round, but all Christmas and that's all I've done and it's practically every evening I've been home I've worked on this. So hopefully by the end, will I get this done by the end of the year? 
We are now on New Year's Eve Eve, so probably not. But I'll work on it a bit tonight, although I wanted to show you my new lamp. I've set it up and I've started doing just this little sheep, just as a little trial. And it's usually, it's 10 to 5 in the evening and it's dark and I've got the curtains drawn already. So in the evening I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to follow that chart. The chart's not so bad. Look how small the Ada fabric is. But through, if I put it behind my wonderful magnifying glass, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, I've got a light. Um, see if I can show you. So there, this is the before. You put it behind the magnet. Oh, I'll turn that off. So that's how big it is. Four. So good. I can see every tiny little hole really clearly. So I've nearly finished that. And I should be working on my sleeves. But I fancy to change. So I'm going to finish my little cross stitch and get back to my sleeve later on.